Hey, hello everybody. Um, we are having a rainy day here in Wisconsin, so um, being stuck indoors, it's still hot though. We're like in the 90s, so I can't stand this crap. But anyway, I'm going to do my um, little jewelry show. Uh, I'm doing this just to show people what I do, what I make. I'm not doing this to encourage anyone to buy, so please just enjoy what I'm doing. Um, this is no pressure. It's not to encourage anyone to buy. Um, but I will say I am going to state the, uh, what it is and the prices. And if anyone is interested, my email address will be provided. However, like I said, I'm just doing this for fun. So, um, just enjoy it. And I do have some other ideas for what I want to talk about uh, after I do my little jewelry thing. And uh, here and there I may do um, little videos on my candles and my jewelry when I make new things. Because I do pop up with new things here and there. I've got some new jewelry pieces that I'll be working on soon and get those made. So I may, you know, show them here and there. But like I said, this is just basically to show you what I do. Uh, to help, um, just help keep myself busy since I no longer can work in the outside world. I really, I miss the socialization. I miss the income. I miss, I miss a lot of things about it. And I'm not one, I don't sit around and watch TV or anything. So I'm so grateful that I have, uh, the candles and the jewelry to keep me busy. Um, so I'm going to show you, these are just going to be necklaces that I'm going to show you today. So I hope you enjoy them. Okay. This first one is, um, if you hear that weird noise in the background, it's one of my feral cats. He came in from the rain. He doesn't like rain. So he is my chronically sick cat. So he sneezes and has some weird hackings on. So enjoy that or ignore it, whatever. But anyway, this is my first piece is, this is a necklace. It is made with, um, this is like a black, uh, like a wire type thing. And it's gold and silver and then like a gunmetal black. And this would probably go to about mid length. You can obviously wear this dressy or you can wear this casual, up to you. But um, this is one of the funner pieces that I made. Um, I enjoy everything I make for the most part. There's a few pieces that have tested my patience, but this was a fun one. So this one here is uh, $32. On to the next one. This one is done in um, different shades of blue and then it's got pearls which fall right in the middle of the chest. This particular piece is, um, I think this would just be a fun, a fun necklace, fun summery necklace, beachy uh, with a pretty summer sundress or something. This does have a chain extender right here so you can wear it longer or shorter. That would be up to you. Um, this too was a fun one to make. Like I said, this is different shades of blues, almost maybe like a light green and then pearls. This particular necklace is 25. Okay. And for my third necklace, this is just a multicolored. Um, this will probably go, I would say, till uh, mid chest. This is just multicolor, little beads, no chain extension on this one. And then it's got this metal uh, metal little piece in the center of it with a little pearl. This one I think would be along the lines of more casual, like jeans, um, little sundress, that type of thing. This is a fun one. This one is also 25. Next up, we have a necklace. This is yellow and white. This would be, I would say more along the lines of casual. This one is also on like a black um, wiring. It's like three threads and the beads are, they're threaded in like increments of three, yellows and whites with maybe a hint of light brown. So very summery. This necklace runs for 20, no chain extender. Okay, the next one up, this one is in like, gosh, I wanna say uh, uh, deep gold tones, closer to a rose gold. This one is adjustable. So this one you can adjust with this little metal bar in the middle. So if you want it to go up more towards your neck or you want it longer, you have a choice. And then we have two pearls that hang with it. Very simple, 
but this can be very elegant or very casual. This one is also 25. This necklace here is one I just recently made. This one was so fun to make in multicolor beads and then just what they call seed beads to finish it. Very, um, I would say this one could be very casual or very elegant. And it's highlighted in the center with like a silver tone, um, silver tone uh, piece with like a goldish little bead in the center. I'll get it closer so you can see it's multicolored. So this one was actually very fun to make. This particular necklace is 30. And I do believe this could be casual or elegant, whichever way you want to do it. Okay, next up is different colors of pearls. These are whites uh, in light browns and gold, gold type pearls. This is a very simple necklace, no extensions. This will fall more than mid chest. Very simple. Um, again, another one that could be worn casual or elegant. It's got a simple hook closure in the back. And this one is 20, soft blues and reds. A really pretty, bright and fun combination. This one is, um, I guess, a, the same as I can say for all of them. You can wear it casually, you can wear it elegant. It's a simple um, lobster clasp closure in the back. Nothing fancy about this one, but yet, it, like I said, it could look fancy or not. Uh, this one, you can't control how long it is. This one will go past mid chest. This one is 15. This right here is a recent uh, necklace that I made. This is made with leather, leather cord, and then we have some, if you can see them, some pretty sparkly beads, a pearl, and some other beads. This one is, um, I lean more towards something elegant, a pretty sundress, but this would be pretty also. You really can't control this one either as far as length. I would say mid chest for this one. Give you a little closer look. This is one of my fun pieces to make. This one is on the expensive side basically because of the leather cords used and the beads are a little bit pricier beads. This one is 40. This is going to be my last piece for today. This too is made with a leather not as expensive as the other one and the beads are not as expensive. So this one will only be 25. This is a multi-wrap. So you can wrap this, like this is wrapped three times right now. So this would fall about mid chest length. You can also wrap, multi-wrap this and use this as a bracelet. Very simple, very simple. So I wouldn't, uh, I don't think this would be great like, you know, for an elegant night out or something like that, but really fun for a night out wearing jeans or something simple. This is my last piece and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any of these pieces, feel free to email me. I'll have my email address there. Otherwise, I just basically wanted to show you what I do. Like I said, this is no pressure video. This is just another part of my life that I wanted to show uh, what I do to pass my time since I'm not in the workforce. Well, that concludes my little jewelry presentation. Not a lot. I have tons more. I've probably got at least 100 pieces earrings, bracelets, more necklaces. I just wanted to do a few pieces just to start this and just, like I said, just to give you an idea of how I pass my time. I don't make jewelry as much as I used to. I don't make candles as much as I used to. I really, my energy level seems to really be struggling and I'm not sure why that is. My next oncologist appointment isn't until October. And, um, you know, if there's anything going on with my blood, if the blood counts are off or, um, I don't know, maybe my cancer's on the move. I, I don't know. I just know that my energy level is nowhere near what it was. I'd say I used to make jewelry every day. And on the days that I didn't make jewelry, I would be making candles. And I've needed to make candles for a while. I'm actually out of a few of them. And that's not like me either. It's norm what I normally do with my candles is I keep between three and five in stock at all time. And, you know, I've probably got about 80 different scents. So that's quite a bit of candles. And like I said, there's some in the shed right now that I don't even have any, and that's just not good. I do hope this week to pick up and get back to making them and restocking them. 
Um, I've been feeling like I want to do it. So to me, that's a good sign is that I'm getting the feeling back that I want to do it. The last probably week, we've been in the 90s and very, very humid. And today it broke. Finally, we've got a storm going on. And, and so it's in the, well, actually, I think Baldy said it's 84, which is still too hot for me. So um, if it gets down into the 70s, like they say it's going to, I may get that candle making bug again. But like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. It was just a few pieces of what I do. Nothing um, over the top crazy hard. I try to do simple things because, to be honest, I can't handle anything hard. Um, I've taken many jewelry classes over the last 10 years. I haven't done anything recently, but um, I mostly do the simple type beading. And I do do crochet beading, which I wish I would have taken a necklace to show you that. That's kind of unique. You crochet with beads and wires and um, that was a little more of the complicated beading that I've done. Those pieces end up absolutely beautiful. But uh, maybe that'll be my next stint. But anyway, um, one other thing I forgot to add on my candle video is um, this is for any any candle. It does not just mine, but I wanted to leave tips on burning candles. When you burn a candle, you start out and you should always burn four hours max. Not less, not over. We do burn over because of candle makers and we test, but technically you're really only supposed to burn a candle for about four hours and then you blow it out and then put the cover on it so that you can avoid that smoke on your ceilings or whatever. Also always trim your wicks, wood wicks, cotton wicks, whatever, always trim your wicks. A lot of times I will see people burning candles and the flame is really high. And most of the time, it's because the wicks haven't been trimmed. So trim your wicks, burn about four hours, that's it. Try to remember to cover that candle. If you don't have a cover for it, put a like a plate or some type of a, you know, like a stainless steel lid or something over it to avoid that smoke in your house. With soy candles, the smoke is minimal, but it is there. They will tell you that it's not, that's not true. It's there. It's just much, much less than a uh, candle that's made with petroleum-based wax. Um, coconut apricot, it's the same. You'll get less smoke, but you'll get it. So always place something over it once you extinguish your candle. I think that's it for today's little video. Um, I have some topics that I want to talk about. I, I've i been, uh, some things came up in my life uh, with other people that I'm aware of. And so I think I'm going to go back to talking. Number one, I wanted to talk about like how I personally cope with some of the side effects of my cancer. Um, for me, it's mostly bone pain. Uh, and for me, I can make it through most of the day and I wouldn't even know that I have it. But come bad when I get into bed at night, I'm telling you, I could jump off a bridge. So I thought this might be a good a good thing to talk about, uh, especially for those also that are living with cancer. And it doesn't have to be a terminal cancer. It can be any type of cancer. But we do have a lot of pain. And so I'd like to talk about like what I do to help me with that and the other side effects that I have. And uh, also, I get people asking me, well, how come you're not bald? Um, so I thought it might be time to talk a little bit more about the type of cancer I have, why I'm not bald, have I ever been bald, um, and some of the other issues that I have. And, um, I'll be honest, I've never been bald. I've been, I have this empty spot up here that I, I comb my hair over so you can't see it. I have been eyelashless, um, but, um, so yeah, I'd like to talk more about that. And then I wanted to talk a little bit more about um, trauma in childhood. You, you know, a good topic I was thinking would be, because I do get asked a lot of times by people, like, did I press charges against my dad? Uh, would I, you know, did I, did I do it? Um, so I'd like to talk about that because that is something that I, I went through in my 20s. So um, I have some more topics along those areas that I'd like to talk about. So 
again, I hope you enjoyed my little jewelry show. This was not for pressure or anything. I just wanted to do something fun and get away from the heavy stuff for a while. And just to give you a glimpse into my daily life, what I do out here. Uh, because like I said, I'm not a TV watcher. I can't read that much anymore. That'll go into the cancer um, side effects things because I am an avid reader. And I mean, I used to be able to read an entire book in maybe an hour or two. Uh, I just, that's something... I'll leave it for the video of side effects and what cancer has done to me. So anyway, I hope everyone has a great few days and I will be back soon. And um, I hope everyone had a great 4th of July and I will see you soon.